Greetings, Scorpio, and welcome to your horoscope. Um, for Scorpio, between the stellium in the third house, stellium in the fifth house, this is the creative jackpot. Cha-ching! So, are you writing songs? Are you making up dances, poetry, stories, painting, gardening, fixing things? Scorpio, this is where you should be at right now. You need to be working with your hands. You need to be working with your heart. You need to be loving your children, loving your siblings, your friends, your neighbors, and just like let it be this amazing love fest. And this, I'm going to take this new moon as the renewal of your heart. Um... Try not to be defensive. Try not to be isolated. Get out. Show love. I like, you know, you could give late Valentine's presents. If you miss somebody, you're like, gosh, if you were, if I had known about you before Valentine's Day, I certainly would have made you my Valentine. Yeah, that that would be so sweet because um, nobody gets really enough love. There's never enough love. There's never enough toys or things or technology either, because those are both Raja planets. And, uh, but there's some kind of love that's like an ecstatic good love. Like you feel like you're really loved and it's like a tr that you're trusting this person and that the whole world seems like secure, like a, a lovely secure love. I, I don't know if that love really exists, but we get fooled into thinking it does a little while and it's really fun and nice when we're in that place. I love being... You know, why do fools fall in love? Because it feels good to be a fool in love. <laughs> Until, you know, you're wiped out and you're, you're, you find out that the other person has another interest and they're all about that. And it's like, oh, well, that was nice while it lasted. Anyhow, we move on forward. <laughs> all right. 